We're going to talk about the three steps so that you can manifest the love that you want in 2023. First and foremost, I just want to tell you that your desires, they matter. The hope that you want a relationship, that you're hoping that there is one out there for you, that those desires are significant and they're speaking to you, that there is a love out there that belongs to you. Now, your journey to get there has probably been filled with lots of disappointment, heartbreak, lots of frustration. And listen, we've all been there. But the fact that you keep holding on and knowing that there is a love for you on the other side, man, that requires so much courage. And I'm so proud of you for not giving up. So first and foremost, before we can talk about manifesting something different, I just want to applaud you for hanging on to hope because that in itself is really powerful. You could become super cynical, but where does that get you? So I want to encourage you with this. Most of the time when we're not manifesting what it is that we really want, the reality is, is that we have blind spots. I'll never forget. I was working with a client and she went through these three things to really manifest her own love. And this is what you're going to do so that you change your 2023. One, she got to a place where she was open for some feedback. And I think that that requires tons of humility. And so if you need to always be right, just know that in that you are blocking your manifestation. That to be able to manifest comes from a posture of humility. But when we leave with pride and we've got to prove ourselves and prove everyone else wrong, that that is pride and ego and you do not manifest. You do not create from that. What you end up doing is blocking everything that you say you want through that kind of energy. So she was open to get some feedback when she came to me. I was like, whoa, girlfriend. These are the things that you're doing that sabotage you. And these are the relationships that you keep drawing into your life that keep causing more and more compacted hurt. And she heard that with tons of humility. She knew that I loved her. I respected her. I valued her. But she needed to know that this blind spot of accepting people who were taking advantage of her in her life and making excuses for them was filling up her life with heartbreak. And as long as she kept filling up her life with that kind of heartbreak, she could never make room and space for someone to come in who truly loved and valued herself. So the first thing I want to encourage you to do is to be open to feedback. The second thing that she did was this. She was really tired of her results. The reality is we have to come to our come to Jesus moment where we're like, listen, I can't keep doing what I'm currently doing. This is broken. The results that I have, not what I'm hoping to get, what I keep getting over and over is not acceptable for me. I cannot continue to go on that way. The reality is that the universe, God, is very attuned to our intentions. But if you're very loose with your intentions and you just let anything into your life, you'll continue to just get anything into your life. But when you get very finite with your expectations and saying, I cannot tolerate myself going from one bad relationship to the next, going from one person who doesn't choose me to the next. I cannot continue to tolerate this. I am tired of that paradigm. It's drawing that line in the sand and saying enough is enough that will really position you to manifest what it is that you want. But just expecting that life will just throw at you whatever is not the way that you create your life. It's not the way that you manifest. You draw a line in the sand and say, I'm tired of these results and I'm expecting these new results to change and shift in my life. So that was the second thing. She got tired of her results. Now, if this is you and you're like, Erica, I need help. Go to my website, ericaangelo.com. Subscribe 
to this channel because I'm going to continue to support you and give you the advice that you need until you get the love that belongs to you. And I want to help you keep that love. There's no point in getting it and then sabotaging it and watching it go away. The third thing was this. She reached out for help. And I think as easy as that sounds, that is super difficult to do because why? We're so wired to be independent and we're very wired to be shameful about our experience with love. If we don't have what everyone else has, underneath that, most of the time is shame. And when we feel shame, the last thing we want to do is to reach out for help. And that can look different for all of us. For some of you, it may be reaching out to me and seeing how I can assist you and give you some support in that. For some people, it's going out and seeing a therapist. And some people, it's just going to the gym. But there is an area in your life that you need to reach out for help. Now, why does that actually help you manifest love? Because what it does is it opens you up to be able to connect from a vulnerable place. I'm gonna say that again. It opens you up to be able to connect from a vulnerable place. The reality is love can never land in your life and it can never land in your heart as long as you go through life guarded and self-protecting. That will keep love away every single time. And if you think that by going through life, protecting yourself and going, I'm going to figure it out on my own. I'm going to do it on my own. It's that same thing that keeps you out of relationship because relationship requires vulnerability. It requires partnering with someone else. So all the things that have supported you and made you successful in your career or made you successful in other things in life by being hyper independent doesn't always translate into relationship. The reality is when we're manifesting, we're co-creating with God, we're co-creating with the universe, which means there's that divine partnership, that divine union that happens. Well, if you have that in the spirit, you want to manifest that in the natural as well. And that always requires humility and vulnerability. So what are the three things? One, get open to feedback. You got to get open to hearing what your blind spot, spots are. Number two, get tired of the results that you currently have. Draw a line in the sand and start having different expectations of what your future will look like. And three, be open to get help because that puts you in a vulnerable position of partnering with connection. And listen, you're worthy of love. But as Rumi says, sometimes we just got to remove the barriers that separate us from love. So I want to support you with the next video so that you know what those barriers are so that you can remove them so that you can have the love that belongs to you. So in the comments section below, I want to hear which one of these things resonated with you the most and you're going to commit to doing. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Be loved.